High School, the District 3 championship ball game. Packed house here in Campbell County for what should be an exciting ball game. Wildcats and the Clinton Dragons. The starting lineups are about to be introduced down on the floor by Victor Jennings. Wildcats starting with Halston Lane, the regular season most valuable player. Also for the Wildcats on the post tonight will be the 6'6 senior Greg Woofter. The point guard tonight will be the sophomore Adrian Porter. Wildcats also starting on the wing, number four, James Booker. And the fifth starter, the senior, Kenneth Herring. So the five starters we've seen most of the season, Booker, Porter, Lane, Herring, and Woofter. The Wildcats coached by Chuck Carringer, assisted by Ricky Norris, and also freshman coach David Scott helping out with the Wildcats. Now the starting lineups for the Clinton Dragons. The Wildcats will see at the post position for the Dragons, the 6'9 junior post, Tori Morris. Also starting for the Dragons will be a 6'3 senior, Matt Reels. At the wing position will be six foot junior, LaShawn Goins. Also starting, number 10, six foot wing player in point, Diedrich Dye. And the remaining starter, number three, the six foot senior, Jermaine Shepard. That's the starting lineup for Coach Don Lockhart's Clinton Dragons, the number one team in the district. They're assisted by Chris Lockhart, his son, and Steve Reynolds. The Dragons and the Wildcats, longtime rivalry dating back to the early 40s, and we're about to get it going here in the District 3 championship ball game. The girls game has already gone to Oak Ridge, and now it's time for the Cardinal and Gray and the Orange and Black to battle it out here at Campbell County High School. Big game for both teams right here, David. This will determine, you know, the momentum going into the, a very important region. You know, it's just very vital for both teams to have great games going into this, and the winner will have extreme, extreme advantage over the other if they meet again. Tori Morris will jump with Halston Lane, and we're about to get set here on AM 1290, WATO and Tennessee Cablevision Channel 12. Halston against Morris, and we're about to have basketball for you here on WATO. The two teams getting ready to tip it off. The officials making sure everyone is set. The Dragons in their all-white jerseys. Halston Lane gets the tip, and it's going to be a re-jump. They're going to say that it'll be, let's see, a possession to the Dragons because Halston hit it as he was going up. So it'll be Clinton basketball side court, and we're underway here at the Campbell County High School gym. With the basketball will come Diedrich Dyle, see who picks him up. It'll be Kenneth Herring, I do believe. He's backing off on him now. Wildcats playing, coming out in a straight man-to-man. -man. Diedrich Dye works for a three. It's on its way. It's no good. On the rebound, Clinton. Morris goes tumbling out as Woofter and Morris are battling it out inside. Big battle going on with the big guys as Diedrich works against Herring. Man-to-man -man being applied. It's going to penetrate. Thought about shooting. Will not. Swings it here on the left side. Off it goes to the Goins. Goins inside. Shepard. Shepard for the shot. Good. Jermaine Shepard scores the first two points of the game, and Oak Ridge has the basketball, and they'll face pressure. In it comes to Kenneth Herring. Herring guarded by Jermaine Shepard. He'll bring the ball down the floor. Kenny races to the midcourt line, gives it over to Porter. Adrian Porter penetrates in, lost the dribble, picked up on the floor by the Dragons. Wildcats turn the ball over, and then a whistle blows, and a foul's called. Wildcats never really had good possession as Porter was just kind of stumbling through there. Jermaine was harassing him everywhere he went. Good defense by him. Oak Ridge turns the ball over and Clinton has the basketball side court leading two to nothing. 7-15 to play in the first quarter with the basketball. Once again will come Diedrich. Die at the point. The Wildcats as I mentioned coming out in man-to-man. -man. Kenny Herring's on Diedrich. He works the ball to the right looking inside. Wolfter and Morris are battling it out. I think Greg's going to be called for a personal foul. That is the case I do believe. As they're talking about it down there, that's just going to be a monster battle inside. Morris and Woofter, they need to put body on body. And Greg's going to come out of the ball game with his second personal foul. It'll be James Snyder coming into the ball game. It'll be Clinton to work the ball in. To work it in for them will be LaShawn Goins. Goins fires a pass, deflected and intercepted by Halston Lane. Halston then backs it off the body of LaShawn Goins. It'll be Oak Ridge with it. Good defensive play by Halston. It'll be Oak Ridge's basketball. It'll be James Booker to work the ball in. In it comes to Kenneth Herring. Picked up in the rear court by Jermaine Shepard. Kenny dribbles with his left hand. Trapped, about to be trapped. Works the ball over to Porter. Porter to Halston Lane. Halston drives in, pulls up, wants to shoot, does. He's fouled. Personal foul will go against Clinton. 
with 6.52 to play, two to nothing. The Dragons on top of the Wildcats as the fouls called, I believe, against LaShawn Goins, the six-footer. Picks up his first personal foul. Team foul number one. It'll be Halston Lane to the free throw line for the Wildcats. Halston will have two shots here, the first of which is up, and it is good. Two to one, our score. The Dragons on top, 6.52 to play in the District 3 championship game from the packed house at Campbell County. Shot is good. Halston knocks it down, two to two. Down the floor will come Clinton once again. Diedrich dying to the midcourt line. He'll walk the ball across the line. Picked up by Kenneth Herring. Swings the ball right side to Friels. Friels on the right baseline is in trouble. Bounces the ball off the body of James Schneider as they came up with a trap on Friels with Schneider and Booker. He bounced it off the body of the Wildcat. It'll be Clinton basketball side corner of the front court. Going to work the end. Looks inside of Morris. Fires it in to Shepard. Jermaine Shepard harassed by Booker. Dribbles to the free throw line. Wanted to shoot. Goes up with a shot. It's on its way. No good. On the rebound, Morris knocks it out. Should be Oak Ridge basketball. No. They're going to reverse the call. It is going to be Oak Ridge basketball. Miss Fielden saw it differently. It was knocked out by the Dragons. It'll be Oak Ridge basketball. Booker to work the ball in. Eventually, and it comes to Kenneth Perry. Now he's picked up in the rear court by Goins. Deshaun will bring the ball, or Kenny will bring it across to Porter. Porter penetrates in, pulls up, free throw line, goes inside to Schneider, turning, kicks it back out. There's Kenny. Kenny drives in, stops. There's Halston. He throws the ball away. Kenny thought about penetrating in and realized he was going right up against Morris, so he tried to fire it right back out to Halston, and Kenny threw it to the stands. It'll be Clinton basketball in a 2-2 ball game. 6-14 to play, Jermaine Shepard. For the basketball, her, trapped up high, over it goes to Diedrich Dye. Over it goes to Goins, inside to Morris, deflected pass, intercepted by Halston Lane. Wildcats for the basketball, and down the floor they'll come. Halston gives it over to Booker, rings it across the line. Booker takes Friels to the right corner, pulls up, comes cross court with the pass to Porter. There's a three-pointer, it's on target, no good. On the rebound, Halston, one dribble, one shot. It's up, in and out, no good. Schneider back up, no good. P Morris pulls down the board. The Wildcats had a couple good looks, couldn't get him to fall. Here comes Diedrich Dye down the floor in a 2-2 ball game. For the basketball, Diedrich Dye outside the three-point line, dribbles to the top of the key. The Dragons playing with Shepard, Friels, Morris, Goins, and Dye. Is Diedrich dribbling outside the line, penetrating to the free-throw line to Morris. Morris up high, holding the ball, now backs up, gives it over to Shepard. Jermaine outside the three-point line, gets a screen from Friels, pulls up, guns a three, no good. On the rebound, Oak Ridge. Adrian Porter with the basketball, and down the floor will come the Wildcats. Porter in the rear court, brings it across with a great pass. It's too hard, though, off the fingertips of Kenny Herring. Wildcats got it down the floor, but once again, they turned the ball over. Michael Kirkpatrick comes into the ball game now for Clinton, checking out of the ball game for the Wildcats is Goins as Diedrich brings the ball down the floor. We've played about three minutes. We've only seen four points put up on the board. Two to two, our score for the basketball. Will come Diedrich Dye right side to Kirkpatrick, picked up by Adrian Porter. Gets a screen from Morris, thought about a three, won't take it. Here's Morris dribbling in, goes against Shepard all or Schneider all the way in for the jam. James. Just let him go around him, and then he dunks it home. Just kind of kind of bounced along with the big guy and allowed the easy two. The Wildcats trail by two, and Oak Ridge works it into Adrian Porter. He races down the floor. The Wildcats on a three-on-one break. Porter all the way down the floor. He's out of control a little bit, but a foul is going to be called. Adrian just came through the pressure and brought it down the floor, and another foul is called against Clinton. This time, the personal foul will be posted against number 13, Michael Kirkpatrick. That'll be his first. Oak Ridge down two, four to two. Herring to work the ball into Halston. Drives in, lulls the ball, falls down. Wildcats, they'll look very sharp here in the early going. They have about five turnovers here in the first four minutes. The Dragons in the lead by two. Here comes Diedrich down the floor. Diedrich outside the line. Picked up by Herring, gives it over to Kirkpatrick, looks inside to Morris, works the dribble to the top, gives it over to Friels. Friels penetrates in, easy layup. Good. Got the penetration, the drive, and it's a four-point lead for Clinton. Here comes the Porter once again. The Wildcats haven't had really many good looks at it. Porter drives in, pulls up a five-footer. Good. Pretty shot by Adrian Porter. Back the other way will come Michael Kirkpatrick and the Dragons, setting it up. They lead by two, six to four this score. Kirkpatrick guarded by Porter, backs it over to Die. Diedrich Die dribbles to the middle port of the floor, will penetrate in, kick it out on the left side of Friel's baseline jumper. It's an air ball. Kirkpatrick on the rebound, no good. Rebounded, then a foul is going to be called. Foul called against Tory Morris. It'll be Oak Ridge basketball coming back the other way. For Morris, that'll be personal foul number one. Four minutes, three seconds to play in the first quarter. Six to four the score, the Dragons in the lead. Greg Adams is now coming into the ball game out. We'll go, let's see. 
the Wildcats, Kenny Herring. Whoopter's on the bench with two fouls as Adams works it into Booker. James will bring the ball down the floor. Trapped in the rear court, lost his dribble, fires the pass, and then another foul is going to be called. Foul this time is going to be called against number 10, Diedrich Dye. That'll be Diedrich's first personal foul. Team foul number four, I do believe, called against Clinton. It'll be Oak Ridge basketball. Porter brings the ball across the line. The Wildcats gives it off to Schneider. Schneider drives in, pulls up, shoots the hook over the top of Morris. Good. James has his first two, and the Wildcats tie the game at six. 3.47 to play in the first quarter, and down the floor will come Diedrich Dye. He lost the ball. Intercepted by Booker. Booker against Kirkpatrick. Two Adams layup. Goes in for the shot. He is going to be stripped of the ball by a hustling Jermaine Shepard. It'll be Oak Ridge basketball underneath the goal. Wildcats got the steal by James Booker. Saw Greg coming down the right sideline. The Wildcats will work the ball in. Adams as Freels comes out of the ball game to Bill Abdulrahman in the ball game now for the Wildcats. Adams to Porter. Adrian sets it up. 6-6 six, six to score. 3.35 to play. Diedrich on Porter. He works the ball right. Back behind the dribble. Goes in for the shot. Five-footer. It's good. Porter scores. And the Wildcats lead 8-6. 327 to play in the first quarter. Down the floor will come Jermaine Shepard. He'll give it over to Diedrich Dye. Wildcats in the lead by two, eight to six. Diedrich with the basketball. Outstanding three-point shooter. We've seen him do it throughout his career against Oak Ridge. Here it goes to Nabil Abdurrahman. Outside the three-point line, looks to Shepard, takes three dribbles, and hands it off to Jermaine, who penetrates in against Halston, takes it to the hole, blocked by Halston, saved by Kirkpatrick, kicks it over to Morris. Morris's shot is up, no good. Halston Lane on the rebound. Halston down the floor for the Wildcats with a pass to Porter. Oak Ridge by two with the basketball. Porter, left side to Adams. Adams drives, he stops, goes in for the shot. He's fouled by Morris. Torrey Morris picks up his second personal foul. The big 6'9 post guy is gonna have to sit a little while as Freels will come off the Clinton bench and Morris is gonna check out Oak Ridge by two, eight to six to score, 2.49 to play in the first quarter and Greg Adams will go to the free throw line. Great move by Greg Adams to get another foul on the big man, get him out of the game early. And the free throw is up and it's missed by Greg Adams. Oak Ridge by two, back to the free throw line once again. We'll go Adams as Morris checks out. Little words of encouragement from his assistant coach, Chris Lockhart. Adams, second free throw, long, no good. And the rebound to Bill Abdurrahman. The Wildcats misfire on both of them. Here come the Dragons with a chance to tie or take the lead with a three. Diedrich died down the floor. Works the dribble against Booker. Bounces off of him. Sets the dribble outside the line. Now penetrates in. Kicks it over to Nabil. Nabil drives in. Kicks it back out to Kirkpatrick. Wildcats still playing defense as Nabil works it outside the line. Comes cross court to Friels. Friels back to Kirkpatrick. Oak Ridge by two, eight to six. 225 to play in the first quarter. Kirkpatrick works it over to Die. Diedrich guarded by Booker, pulls it out, fires a pass. It's going to be tracked down. It's an over and back. Great defense on Diedrich Die. Booker was all over him, and he had to give a bad pass out to the outside. And Oak Ridge will have the basketball side court to work the ball in will be Greg Adams. Greg works the ball inside to Adrian Porter. Wildcats in the lead with the basketball. 2.14 to play in the first quarter. Adrian, outside the midcourt line, gives it over to Halston Lane. He drives against the bill. He turns, he spins, he drives, he shoots, he scores, and he is fouled. Halston Lane drops in the bucket, and Oak Ridge ups their lead to four, and Halston will go to the free throw line with one shot upcoming. 2.06 to play, 10-6, to six, the Wildcats in the lead. These two teams have had some monumental battles here in the last four or five years with Clinton winning most of them. In fact, they have won 11 consecutive games of the Wildcats as Halston drops in the free throw. It's good. 11-6 to score. Here comes Diedrich Dye down the floor. Diedrich out of control. Gives it off to a shot to Kirkpatrick. Good. Diedrich, I say he's out of control. That's well in control by most players. And the Wildcats dish it off. See the dish off to Kirkpatrick, and he scores the two points. 11-8 to score. Here's Adam stopping, waiting. Throws the ball away back in the rear court it goes to adrian porter greg misfired it and turned the ball over it'll be dragon basketball side court oak ridge playing with greg adams adrian porter james booker james schneider in halston lane michael kirkpatrick will work the ball in right in front of the oak ridge bench the wild kits in the lead 11 to 8 a minute 43 to play in the first quarter diedrich thought about a three penetrates in shoots up no good on the rebound jermaine shepherd Jermaine sets it up once again. Over it goes to Friels. Friels over to Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman drives in. Bounce pass left side. Kirkpatrick. Head fakes. Goes in for the shot. It's up. No good. On the rebound, James Snyder of the Wildcats. 
Snyder takes one dribble, needs some help, gives it over to Porter. Here comes Porter behind the back dribble against Shepard. Works the ball against him to the right side and sets it up with a minute 16. Here's Snyder looking to Halston. Halston stops, pops, drops, and he's fouled. Halston bombs away just inside the three-point arc. He'll go to the free throw line with one shot. 1-11 to play, and the Wildcats will get a free throw. Big shot by Halston Lane. He had Kirkpatrick hanging on his arm. Still knocked down about a 15-foot jumper. Great concentration by a great player, Halston Lane. 13 to 8, the Wildcats in the lead. A minute, 11 to play in the first quarter. Halston guns, good. Wildcat lead is 14 to 8, and down the floor will come Diedrich Dye. Diedrich outside the three-point stripe against Adrian Porter. Backs it up, has yet to get one of those patented long-range threes off against the Wildcats. Let's see what he can do. He dribbles to the right side. They're kind of a different team, much smaller without Morris in the lineup, but they're so good with their perimeter guys as the Wildcats match up a little bit better now with him out of the game. Diedrich sets it out to Goins. Goins back out to die. 47 seconds to play. Diedrich, a three-pointer. It's on its way. No good. On the rebound, Greg Adams. Adams with the basketball. He's fouled. Personal foul against Goins. LaShawn well, Goins picks up the foul. That might be his second. Team foul number eight. The Wildcats will be shooting the one in the bonus. 40 seconds to play in the first quarter. District 3 championship ball game. The Dragons, the regular season champions, lead, or trail, that is, 14 to 8, but they lead in the last three or four years as Porter and Halston, I think, come over. Actually, Halston's going to stay in the ball game. Porter does come out. He'll, Halston will stay back in the rear court. Booker's back in the ball game. It's Adams at the free throw line. He shoots no good. He's 0 of 3 from the free throw line. 14-8 the score. 35 seconds to play in the first quarter. Here comes Diedrich Dye down the floor. Backing up with Kenneth Herring back on defense against him. Jer Jermaine Shepard's being guarded man-to-man -man by James Booker. Nabil Abdul-Rahman guarded by James Schneider. LaShawn Goins by Greg Adams. Halston's picking up, let's see, Friels, I do believe. Here's Nabil holding it off, giving it off to Jermaine. Gun shy, won't take the shot. He's going to do it, though. They give him just a little bit of room, and he backs up. 13 seconds to play. Long range three. Jermaine, they let him shoot. Shot is no good. Tip back up, no good. Again, no good. Pulled away by Halston Lane. Somebody slumped off of Jermaine Shepard and gave him an easy one as Booker guns at the buzzer. Won't be able to get it off as the first quarter comes to a close. Our score after one quarter of basketball at the District 3 Championship Ball Game. It's the Wildcats 14 and the Clinton Dragons 8. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Yeah. What was the score? 48 to 47. Okay, who won it? Marable. Okay, thank you. 48 47, Marable won. the Campbell County High School gym at the District 3 Basketball Tournament, Oak Ridge. For the basketball, as we come out in the second quarter, the Wildcats have Wolfter back in the ball game, playing with two personal fouls. Wolfter takes a couple dribbles to the top, guarded by Friels, off it goes to Lane. Halston Lane will drive, stop, gun up a three, it's up, no good, long rebound, Jermaine Shepard comes down with it. Down the floor will come the Dragons. They trail by six. 14 to eight, 7.38 to play. Here's Jermaine at the free throw line. Unable to shoot, has to back it up. Over it goes to Napal Dorama, who's in the ball game. And Nape holds the ball, looks back to Coach Lockhart. Back at the top of the key goes Nate dribbling with his right hand, gives it over to Friels. Friels outside the three-point line, gives it over to Shepard. Shepard works the ball with Porter in his face. Out to the top, it goes to Die. Diedrich Die dribbles in, penetrates, stops, shoots off balance, shot, good. Nice shot, Diedrich Dye. The Wildcats have the basketball. Their lead is cut to four. 14-10 the score, 7.09 to play in the first half. Adrian Porter down the floor for the Wildcats, loops the ball across to Herring. Herring drives in, fires the pass, intending it for cutting Halston Lane. It's knocked out of bounds by Diedrich Dye. 
Their big 6-9 post player, Tori Morris, is on the bench right now with two personal fouls. 7-0-1 to play, 14-10 the score. It'll be Oak Ridge to work it in. Herring needs to get it in. Has to call a timeout. Looked and nobody came free. The Wildcats call a timeout. As we mentioned, the Wildcats and the Dragons have battled it out numerous times in the postseason. The Wildcats have lead the all-time series against the Dragons, 94 to 44. But the Dragons have won 11 consecutive games, including the last two district championship ball games and last year's regional championship ball game. This game, right now, much like the other games have been played. In fact, I believe Oak Ridge in the two games against the Dragons this season have led at the half both times only to lose both contests. Right now we're a long way from halftime. Still 7-0-1 to play. Oak Ridge in the lead 14-10. Wildcats have the basketball underneath the goal. It'll be Kenneth Herring to work it in. Then it comes to Wolfter. Baseline jumper. Not a good shot. No good. On the rebound will come Jermaine Shepard. Down the floor it comes to Nabil Abdurrahman. Nabil sets it over to Friels to a wide open Kirkpatrick. The Wildcats are not in position defensively as Oak Ridge got the missed shot on the rebound. Wolfter. Wildcats really not playing nearly as crisply and as smart as they had in the last couple of ball games. You, I guess you'll have to credit a little bit of the Clinton defense. As Porter knocks down another big shot, came down the floor and just floats it through. Oak Ridge by six, 16 to 10, six and a half minutes to play in the first half. Here come the Dragons down the floor. Nafal Abdurrahman brings it across the line, about to be picked up by Adrian Porter. Off it goes to Nabil, thought about a three. Halston picks him up. Backs it up once again. Over in the left corner, it goes to Friels. Friels back out to Die. Die picked up by Porter. He's going to drive to the baseline. Cut off there. Goes in for the shot. It's off balance, but off the glass. Diedrich scores again. 16-12 the score. Here comes Kenneth Herring. He's fouled. Personal foul will go against Nafal Dorman. That'll be the ninth team foul, and Oak Ridge will be shooting free throws. Wildcats have not fared too well at the free throw line. Well, actually, 50% right now. They are three of six with Halston hitting all three of his, Adams missing all three of his, and now it's Kenny Herring's opportunity at the free throw line. He'll have one in the bonus, 19 foul. The Wildcats have committed only two. One in the bonus as Kenny goes to the free throw line. Looks to the first toss, it's good. Oak Ridge by five, 17-12 the score, 6.07 to play in the District 3 Boys Championship ball game. Kenneth Herring, a senior, back to the free throw line, eyes the second toss. It's up, and it's good. The Dragons playing with Nabil Abdulrahman, Jermaine Shepard, Nafal Abdulrahman, Friels, and Diedrich Dye. The Wildcats getting Eric Heidel in the ball game. The Wildcats also have James Booker, Greg Wolfter, Halston Lane, and Kenneth Herring in the ball game. Down the floor will come Diedrich Dye at the point for the Clinton Dragons, moving from left to right, wearing their all-white jerseys with black and orange trim. Diedrich at the free throw line, backs it over to Friels. Friels looks inside to a cutting Nabil of the Roman, can't get the ball to him, holds the ball over his head and gives it over to Shepard. Shepard harassed and guarded by James Booker. Jermaine calls somebody a pie. Thought of that working around the baseline, goes inside against Halston, charge is called against Jermaine. Halston set up on the left block, and Jermaine tried to run right through him, and he comes down hard. Jermaine might be bleeding and might have to come out of the ball game. Jermaine has a little blood screwing from his nose, and he's going to have to come out of the contest. Offensive foul called, and for Jermaine Shepard, that'll be his first personal foul. Team foul number 10. Offensive foul against Jermaine, and now he's gone down to one knee at the midcourt line. And he's being attended to by the training staff, and the Wildcats now will separate just a little bit as Jermaine down on one knee at the midcourt line. You're listening to Game Live on AM 1290 WATO and Tennessee C C Cable Vision Channel 12, 18-12 to score. It's a six-point game, 540 to play in the first half. You know, the newspaper predicted that it would be a high-scoring ball game. It's been nothing like that. It's been kind of a, a half-court kind of a ball game with good defense being played, played by both teams. It really has, David. For the Wildcats so far, I think that one of the key stats is Jermaine Shepard has only two points. James Booker has done an outstanding, outstanding job of guarding him. 5.40 to play, 18-12 to 12 to score. They're still putting the ice pack on Jermaine Shepard's nose. I'm sure Jermaine would rather have this procedure take place off the floor instead of right in center court where everyone in the gymnasium can see him. And he gets a nice ovation from the very 
classy fans on both sides of the gymnasium who appreciate the outstanding talent that he is and the uh, you never want to see anybody hurt and this is just just a nosebleed right now and hopefully Jermaine will re-enter the ball game for the Clinton Dragons here in a few short moments. Might be his teeth as uh, Matt uh, Gooch is saying. He took one hard to the chops for sure. We'll get, an, we'll get some word on Jermaine Shepard here a little bit later. Wildcats in the lead 18 to 12. The personal foul was a charge against Jermaine Shepard, Coach Lockhart, Don Lockhart, still arguing with the officials out on the floor. Ten team fouls for the Dragons, two for the Wildcats. Wildcats eventually will get play started here in a second as they're having to clean up the massive blood splot on the floor, right? It's probably the size of, uh, I don't know, a grapefruit or so, and they're having to wipe it up very carefully and they're taking care of that right now. Incidentally, the Lady Wildcats won the District 3 championship tonight. Final score of their ball game was 87 to 48, so congratulations to the Lady Wildcats and the most valuable player tonight's uh, game and tournament, Danielle Barnard. She was joined by Jasmine Henderson and Jennifer Wilson on the all-tournament team. Sheena Weaver and Ashell Weaver from Clinton also made the all-tournament team. 18-12 the score as the blood is uh, wiped up off the floor. The, we ran down the brackets of the Region 2 tournament. Coach Pruden informed me that she gave me a wrong tournament bracket. The good news is the Lady Wildcats don't have to play in the 7:30 ball game. They'll get a chance to play in the 4:30 ball game. The first game out of the gate Monday, and that'll be against the William Blunt Governors. So. For those of you who listened to what I said in the girls game, totally forget about that. Just say David Clary made the mistake again, although actually Coach Pruden gave me the wrong bracket, but I'll take the blame. I should have checked it out myself. Coach Pruden is seldom wrong, but Oak Ridge will play at 430 against the governors of William Blunt, and they're continuing to work on Jermaine Shepard, who went for the, the, the shot and then ran right over the top of Halston Lane and lots of blood from Jermaine Shepard and lots of blood. Lots of blood. Lots of blood, Dave. And play is halted right now. I hesitate to take a break because I don't know when they'll start play once again. So we'll just kind of hold it right here as the two teams, Oak Ridge is out on the floor with Halston Lane, Greg Woofter, Adrian Porter, along with Eric Heidel and Kenneth Herring. Oak Ridge in the lead right now, 18 to 12. I look along the Oak Ridge bench and I do not see Ross Nesbitt once again. Not dressed out, once again suffering from the flu effects. So we'd like to say hello to Ross back in WATO, back in Oak Ridge, listening to us hopefully on WATO. I would assume he'd be listening to us on WATO. I'd like to say hello to him. 18 to 12 the score. Jared Tharps, our engineer back at WATO. And I'm just holding it right here because um, they're attending to Jermaine on the sideline. And they're attending to the the blood on the floor, trying to get something other than just Kleenex to, to wipe it up. It, it's a big, big splot of blood. And I know that sounds pretty grotesque for those of you listening back. And they're going to come out with uh, some disinfectant, some kind of a, um, a uh, aerosol onto the floor to spray over the splot that has uh, put down the floor with, of course, with the um, the diseases, the blood diseases you can get, you, you want to be extremely careful, and that's why they're taking such precaution here at Campbell County High School at the District 3 basketball tournament. As the blood is now cleaned off the floor, we're about to get underway here once again. It was the 10th team foul called against the Clinton Dragons. The big loss for them is Tory Morris, the big post player. He's been out most of the game, but their guards are so effective, they've stayed in the ball game without him. And we just hope that Jermaine Shepard is going to be able to return to action. Oak Ridge will get the basketball after the player control foul. Eric Heidel will work the ball in. 5.40 to play in the first half, and Eric works it into Adrian Porter, who's then stripped of the ball. It's picked up, though, by Kenny Herring. Herring will bring the ball back down the floor, trapped in the rear court. Then he's stripped of the ball by Diedrich Dye. Didn't have a whole lot of help. Diedrich goes in for the shot. He's fouled, but missed the shot. That was doomed from the beginning. The Wildcats never really had good control of the basketball as Kenny was just being harassed by an excellent defensive effort by the pressure applied by the Dragons, and Diedrich Dye will go to the free throw line. Adrian got off, kind of didn't see the guy behind him, almost ran into Nath Abdul-Rahman. Six-point lead, Diedrich shoots the free throw. Good. 
Diedrich, excellent free throw shooter, excellent shooter, period. Diedrich has five points in the game, now one of one from the free throw line. Second toss, rims out, no good. And the rebound, foul's gonna be called away from the ball, I think, against LaShawn Goins. That's his third personal foul. So Goins picks up his third. The double bonus is in effect. They're gonna substitute. Looks like Cody Hendricks is about to come into the ball game for the Clinton Dragons as that is the case. And now I think we've had a technical foul assessed on Don Lockhart. I think that is the case. Coach Lockhart is assessed with a technical foul. And now he is having words with official Bray. Halston will shoot some free throws. We're gonna have four free throws here. Two for the double bonus, two for the technical. Then Oak Ridge is going to get the ball. Halston hits the first one. Oak Ridge by six, 19 to 13, 529 to play first half. The second one, Halston hits that one. Oak Ridge up seven, 20 to 13. Here comes three and four by Halston Lane. This is the technical. Three is good, four about to be attempted by the most valuable player in the regular season, Halston Lane. 21-13, 22-13. Halston drops in all four free throws, and Oak Ridge gets the basketball side court, and Coach Lockhart wants a timeout. Let's take one ourselves. Oak Ridge leads 22-13. We'll be back in 60 seconds. here at the Campbell County High School gym. The Wildcats turn the ball over. Here comes Diedrich Dyer racing in the front court all the way down the floor for the shot. No good. On the rebound, Oak Ridge had it. Diedrich Dyer battles for it. He's got it at the midcourt line. Back it goes to Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick along the Friels. He drives the baseline. Inside it goes to Bill Alderwam and he walks. Block shot anyway. Personal foul will go against Oak Ridge. It looked from my vantage point that Nabil kind of stutter stepped along the baseline. Didn't have a great look at it. Obviously, the fish are right on top of it. Obviously, Nabil didn't walk, but he does draw the foul and will go to the free throw line. Halston picks up the personal foul. Nine point Oak Ridge lead, 5.07 to play first half. 22 13, Nabil Abdul Rahman to the free throw line. His shot is good. Oak Ridge will get James Booker back in the ball game. Out will go Eric Heidel. Wildcats playing with Porter, Heidel, Woofter, Lane, and Herring, the original starting five. Back to the free throw line once again, Nabil Abdurrahman. Second toss. This one's no good. On the rebound, Halston Lane. Oak Ridge with it in the rear court. Over it goes to Kenneth Herring. Wildcats facing the pressure defense. Hendricks over to Halston. Halston to Woofter. Layup. Good. He dunked it. He jammed it home. Greg Woofter dunks it. And the Wildcat lead is 10, 24-14 the score. Diedrich Dye drives, stops, goes in for the shot, rims out, no good. Back up, no good. Rebounded again by Dye, no good. Again, no good. This time pulled away by Kirkpatrick. He lost the ball, picked up on the floor by Friels. Friels turns, spins, shoots, and he scores. Great effort by Clinton on the boards. And here comes the Wildcats down the floor with Kenneth Herring. Herring in the rear court. Trapped by Hendricks and Abdurrahman Nath. He works the ball off to Porter. Porter gives it over to, to the right side of Herring to Booker. Booker outside the line, backs it up. Oak Ridge by eight with a basketball, and Oak Ridge turns it over. Great defense. Nath Abdurrahman on James Booker, and the Wildcats will settle back on defense, and the Dragons trailing 24 to 16 at the basketball, 4-18 to play in the first half. Diedrich died down the floor, brings the ball across the line. The Wildcats still on the man-to-man. -man. Diedrich gets a screen from Friels, pulls up, Waits for the three to come free. It's open. It's no good. On the rebound, Kenneth Herring. Herring with it to Adrian Porter. Porter down the floor for the Wildcats. Dribbles all the way through against Dye. Lost his dribble. Grabs it right back. Gives it over to Herring. Herring holding the ball with 3.54 to play. Nafal to Roman in his face to Booker. Here's the lob inside to Halston. Foul called. Personal foul will go against Clinton. Might go against Nabil. Oak Ridge will be shooting free throws. And it's Halston Lane shooting them. Two more as the double bonus is way into effect. 3.49 to play, Oak Ridge by eight. 24 to 16 over Clinton. That he Halston Lane at the free throw line. I think he's eight of eight from the free throw line. Nine of nine from the free throw line. Had 40 points last night in the win over the Hall's Red Devils. He leads the Wildcats tonight with 13, I do believe, as he goes back to the free throw line. 
Missed it. On the rebound, a foul's called against Kenneth Herring. Kenneth Herring picks up his first personal foul. 25-16 the score, 348 to play. Correction, Halston has 12 points in the ball game as the Dragons bring the ball down the floor with 345 to play, 25 to 16. The Wildcats in the lead. Diedrich Dye, top of the key. Long range three about to be launched. No, he sets it out to Hendricks. Hendricks back to Dye. Dye now picked up by Greg Adams who's in the ball game. Backs up, now penetrates, top of the key. Gets a screen from Friels, dribbles in all the way through and then is fouled. That'll be the sixth team foul called against the Wildcats. They'll go against Greg Adams, I think. For Greg, that'll be personal foul number one, if indeed it's against him. 328 to play in a kind of a slow moving first half. Hendricks to work the ball in. Here's a pass, in it comes to Diedrich Dye. Diedrich waiting, gets set, the offense gets into position. Diedrich swings the ball to Friels. Friels in the left corner, back to Dye. Dye, a long range three, it's up, no good. On the rebound, Greg Adams. Adams with it to Porter. The Wildcats have the numbers. Here it goes to Wolfter. Wolfter to Halston, the jam, two hands stuff. Two-hand jam by Halston Lane. And the Wildcat lead is 11. 27 to 16 the score, and here come the Dragons down the floor. Moving from left to right with the basketball will come number 15. That'll be Jody Goins. Goins with it over to Diedrich Dye. Diedrich has not been on fire with that three-point shot, but we will have a still full half of basketball to play. Here's Diedrich foul. 17 foul. They're going to call a block against Kenny Heron. The Oak Ridge fans don't like it, but I think it was a good call. Kenny was backing up and moving. And they're going to call the foul on him. And I don't know what the Oak Ridge fans are arguing about. It looked like it was a good call for me because Kenny was moving. I'm not sure, David. I'm not sure how much contact was made right there. But if, if contact was made, it was a block because Kenny still had his feet moving. He was not set, so it couldn't have been a charge. I'm just not sure there should have been a no call right there. 11-point Oak Ridge lead. Diedrich died to the free throw line. One and a bonus. 2.49 to play first half. Diedrich shoots. Good. Oak Ridge's lead is 10, 27 to 17, 249 to play. Morris has had to sit most of the first half with two personal fouls. Jermaine Shepard still being attended to because of the problem he had with his mouth earlier, and he's out most of the time. As Adams needs to get the ball in, has to call a timeout. Their defense is really good. The 22nd timeout will hold it right here. Clinton does an excellent job pressing, and they that's about the second or maybe even the third time they forced Oak Ridge to call a timeout before they could get the ball in bounds. Wildcats huddling with their head coach, Chuck Carringer, head coach of the Oak Ridge High School Wildcats. 2.49 to play, 27 to 18 the score. The Dragons huddling with their assistant coach, Chris Lockhart. The Dragons come in as the regular season district champs going for the three-peat and the even dozen against the Wildcats consecutively, but right now it's the Wildcats in the lead, 27 to 18. Oak Ridge basketball will be Greg Adams to work it in eventually, and it comes to Adrian Porter. Porter then stripped to the ball, grabs it right back. Porter down the floor, and he's fouled. Another personal foul called against Clinton. Jody Goins, two more free throws for the Wildcats as they continue to put the Wildcats on the free throw line. The Wildcats have a ton of points tonight at the charity stripe. Halston has at least eight. Kenny has two. Now it's going to be Adrian Porter's opportunity to go to the free throw line. He'll have two. The first one is good. Oak Ridge again by 10. 28 to 18 over Clinton. 2.45 to play first half. Back to the free throw line. Once again, we'll go Adrian Porter. Looks at the toss. Guns. Bang. Good. Porter. Hits the toss, and here comes Diedrich Dye down the floor. The Wildcats get back on defense as Diedrich kicks it out to Hendricks. Hendricks for three. Brick. No good. On the rebound, McCunn Schneider to Porter. Adrian, three on two. Two. Adams, he throws the ball off the fingertips of a dragon, and I think it should have been Oak Ridge's basketball. Maybe not. Maybe I just saw it wrong. It'll be Clinton basketball coming down the floor. Two and a half minutes to play, and down the floor with it will come Goins. Jody Goins about to be picked up by Adrian Porter. Wildcats in the lead by 11, 29 to 18 the score. Jody backing it up into the midcourt circle. Over it goes to Die. Booker staying on him. Now he backs off about five feet. Back it goes to number double zero in the ballgame, who is not on my roster. Back it goes for a three, missed on the rebound, Oak Ridge. James Snyder with it to Porter. Adrian falls down in the rear court, needs to get rid of it, does now to Booker. James Booker the basketball to Adams. Guns, it's up, it's no good. Back up and good by Halston Lane. And the Wildcats lead, 29 to 18, a minute 55 to play in the first half. 
for the basketball. Will come number 24, that'll be Hendricks. Drives the baseline, works it out to double zero, who is not on my roster. Back to the right side it goes once again to Friels to die. Diedrich die, it's a man to man. He's going to take it all the way to the baseline, kick it back out for another three. It's no good. On the rebound will come Booker. He races out of there, and then a travel is called. Travel, good call against James Booker. Just didn't put the ball down on the floor, and he turns the ball over. Minute 36 to play. 31-18 the score. It'll be Clinton basketball underneath the goal. Big sequence of plays right here for the, for the Oak Ridge Wildcats. They've opened up a big lead, and now they really, really need to maintain this lead going into the halftime. Here comes the inbounds pass, and it comes to Hendricks to die. A minute 34 to play in the first half, 31 to 18. The Wildcats in the lead. Diedrich, left side to Goins. Goins back to die. Diedrich dribbles. No, he doesn't. He gives it out to Goins. He drives in, pulls up, takes a 10-footer. No good. On the rebound, Oak Ridge knocks it out. Double zero, and I apologize. I do not have his name on the official roster that was given to me by Clinton. I think I might have another roster that we'll dig for here in a second. I apologize until we can find that. As Deidre gets the long inbounds, it goes across the midcourt line. Double zero in the ball game. It is not on my roster, and I apologize. The one that Coach uh, Jimmy Gaylor gave me also does not have his number, and I apologize for him and his family, who we don't know who it is. There's another missed shot by Clinton, rebounded by the Dragons. Going, sets it up, right corner to Friels. Friels picked up by Halston Lane. We're down to 57 seconds to play. Oak Ridge in the lead, 31 to 18. Goins to die. Diedrich left side, has Hendricks in the left corner. He dribbles out to the top, gives it off to Hendricks. Hendricks drives the baseline, cut it off, gives it off to double zero, who throws the ball away. On the rebound, McElroy steal comes Booker. Booker goes in, finger roll, no good. Back up, no good. Foul call perhaps against Adrian Porter. We'll have to see. The official saw Adrian come over the back, and I think they're going to call a foul against him, I do believe, and they'll be shooting free throws now. One in the bonus, in effect. Wildcats had the opportunity. Booker started the shot from about the free throw line and just kind of finger rolled it up there. It kind of rolled out. Porter came trailing in behind, and... Got him from the rear. 31-18 the score. It'll be Clinton at the free throw line, one in the bonus. At the free throw line will go the Dragons. Going shoots, missed. On the rebound, Greg Adams. Wildcats for the basketball and the lead. 35 seconds to play. The Wildcats, I'm sure, will play for the final shot. Here comes Adrian Porter to James Booker. Booker back out to Porter. 27 seconds to play in the first half. The Wildcats over Clinton, 31 to 18. Oak Ridge basketball. Here comes to James Booker. Looking for Jermaine Shepard. He is not on the bench right now. He has been taken out of here. He got a serious blow to the mouth earlier and has not played since. As Halston drives in, pulls, throws up the shot, draws the foul. Halston will shoot free throws. Seven seconds to play in the first half. Oak Ridge over Clinton, 31 to 18. The Dragons have won 12, consec 11 consecutive games. It would be 12 if they were to win tonight. Halston laying to the free throw line. Drew Walker about to check in the ball game as Halston shoots. Good. Halston continues to impress. 17 first half points, and he is perfect from the line. Double digits at the line consecutively for Halston Lane. 32, 18, 33, 18. Here come the Dragons with six. Diedrich with five, with four, with three. Throws the ball away. Diedrich die, turns it over. Booker at midcourt. No good as the first half comes to a close. The Wildcats have the lead. 33 to 18. Oak Ridge comes out with James Booker, Kenneth Herring, Adrian Porter, Greg Woofter, and Halston Lane. The Dragons come out with Diedrich Dye, Nafe Abdurrahman, Jermaine Shepard's out there playing, and uh, he's got to be a lot of pain. Matt Friels and Tori Morris. He's got to be playing in a lot of pain. He's out there, and I give him a lot of credit. If they have a most valuable player, I'm going to give it to Jermaine because he's out there playing under some terrible conditions as the Dragons work the ball in. We're underway once again. The Wildcats in the lead, 33-18. to 18. Diedrich, top of the key, penetrates, drives right, gives it over to Michael Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick holds the ball, works it over to Jermaine Shepard. Shepard works the ball back to the right, exactly as they fell to Roman. Jermaine drives in, pulls up and wanted to shoot, but draws the foul. That's what Jermaine does so well. He drives and penetrates. He's got to have a lot of things on his mind right now. As Jermaine goes to the free throw line, he'll have two shots, as I believe he was in the foul in the act of shooting. Oak Ridge by 15, 
33 to 18 the score, 7.44 to play in the third quarter. Wildcats watching Jermaine Shepard shoot two free throws. Toss, good. Jermaine Shepard scores his third point of the ball game. Back to the free throw line he goes. 33-19 the score. Shepard eyes the shot. Guns. Good. Jermaine knocks him down. No problem at all. Here comes Oak Ridge down the floor with Adrian Porter. Wildcats give it right back and almost turn the ball over. Kenny back in the rear court will bring the ball across the line. Gets the ball across the line. 10 second count. He now he goes across the line. Wildcats did not attack very well that time doing the ball across the line. The Wildcats didn't have any help for Kenny in the rear court and the Wildcats turned the ball over. It's a 13 point lead. The Wildcats have led both times against Clinton and have lost both games and they were led at the half is what I meant to say. Here's Shepard driving the baseline, driving in, reverse layup, good. Shepard scores again and he's feeling it. Down the floor will come Oak Ridge's Kenny Herring. Herring works the ball across the line, throws it over to Halston Lane. Halston drives in against Morris, takes it to the hole, no good. On the rebound, Clinton comes down with it and then they travel. Three Dragons grab the rebound and then a travel is caught against them. Oak Ridge up by 11, but Clinton looking strong here in the first few minutes. Here it comes to Adrian Porter to Kenny. Three-pointer from the right corner, good. Three-point shot for Kenneth Herring. Here come the Dragons, quickly down the floor. The Wildcats are not set on defense. Here comes Diedrich driving in, pulling up and shooting, no good. On the rebound, Oak Ridge. Kenneth Herring down the floor. Kenny in the rear court, gives it back out to Wolfter, who stops and gives it over to Lane. Halston drives in, stripped to the ball, goes out of bounds, last touch by Clinton. The Wildcats will set it up, leading by 14. 36 to 22, 656 to play third quarter. In it goes to Halston, missed a shot, gets his rebound, no good. Again, it's gonna be knocked out of bounds by Shepard. Wildcats had two good looks at it, but the Dragons deflected both shots. It'll be Oak Ridge basketball underneath the goal. Kenny Herring to work the ball in, 36-22 to score. In it comes to Adrian Porter. Porter top of the key, guarded by Nafe Abdul Rahman. Dribbles to the left, gets a screen, waits, gives it over to Halston, three-pointer from the right corner, it's good! Three-point shot for Halston Lane, and the Wildcats have a 17-point lead on the Dragons. 6.37 to play in the third quarter. Here comes Diedrich Dye down the floor. Diedrich guarded by Kenny Herring. Looks like he wants to take him one-on-one, -on -one, will not be able to do so. Gives it over to Friels. Friels looks inside to a cutting. Morris can't get the ball to him, backs it up to Jermaine Shepard. Jermaine Shepard, three-point shot on its way, no good. On the rebound, Morris knocks it out. The Oak Ridge basketball, Jermaine Shepard playing under the most adverse conditions I've ever seen a high school basketball player play. He's knocked out at least one tooth, we understood, and he has two others bent back right now, but he's out there performing for the Dragons. Oak Ridge with the basketball. Kenny Herring will bring the ball across the line, gets it across, gives it over to Halston, drives in for the shot, foul called. Big major collision. Once again, Jermaine Shepard commits the foul, and he is fouled deliberately. It's a deliberate foul on Jermaine Shepard. He just undercut Halston, and they're gonna call him with the deliberate foul. Jermaine picks up yet another personal foul, and the officials are talking about it. Wildcats will be shooting free throws, and they'll be Halston Lane at the free throw line. Deliberate foul called against Shepard, his second. Just came in and just destroyed Halston. And they're, they're pointing to the Dragons, and once again, there is blood on the floor in the end zone area right behind the baseline. Coach Kesselring, the head coach of the Campbell County football team, is trying to get somebody's attention to alert them to the fact that Jermaine has once again shed his blood on the Campbell County floor here with 6.06 to play and the Wildcats leading by 17 points over the Dragons, 39 to 22. Shepard is continuing to bleed and they're gonna have to do something about him now because there's another splat of blood on the Dragon bench, the size, oh, there's spots everywhere. There's one in front of the, the scores table about the size of a grapefruit. There's one 10 feet away from that, and Jermaine has to take a seat. Now he's going out. Jermaine played as long as he could, but once again, unable to continue. But he came in and did some good things for the Dragons, hit some free throws, hit a bucket, and now he has to come out. I'm going to give, I mean, that's a lot. you got to give him the Guts Award for getting out there and playing. Yeah, you really do, David. I mean, he was lost a tooth, broke his nose. I mean, 
I, I just don't know what to say about that, except he really just put it all out there. You can see how much this game means to him. I mean, just a great player. I'm not going to question the Clinton staff, but uh, I don't know if it's the wisest thing to do for Jermaine's sake right now. I guess he felt he could go, but right now there's blood in the end zone to our right. Huge puddle of blood to our right. There's a puddle of blood in front of the scores table. There's a puddle of blood right behind the bench, and now Jermaine is out. What a bizarre ball game. That's just the only thing you can say about it. 39-22 Oak Ridge by 17 over Clinton. Oak Ridge has an opportunity to up that further as they'll go to the free throw line. Dragons have won 12 straight, 11 straight games over the Wildcats. Oak Ridge trying to end that long winning streak, but Clinton not doing it full strength right now, especially with Jermaine out of the game, one of the best guards in the state of Tennessee. Halston will shoot technicals. Shot good. Halston has been perfect. If Oak Ridge holds on and wins, even if they don't, he's my most valuable player. Is he gets, once again, he has 22 points in the game, most of them at the free throw line. And then Oak Ridge is going to get the basketball underneath the goal. Matt? Halston now has 23 points off that last free throw. Perfect from the line. It just shows you what kind of clutch player he is, David. Oak Ridge on top by 19 now. Oak Ridge basketball. Here it comes to Woofter. Woofter gives it back out to Kenny. The Wildcats by 19 over the Dragons. Over it goes to Porter. Adrian looks inside to Halston. He backs it up with a dribble. Takes the pass inside. Tending it for Woofter. Saves it inbounds. Back to Porter. Great hustle by Greg Woofter. And it goes to Halston. Halston against Morris. Hooks it in. It's no good. Woofter back in. Good. Wildcats lead by 21 points over Clinton. 43-22 the score, and here comes Clinton down the floor with a basketball. Nafe Abdul Rahman works the dribble to the left, stops, gives it over to the right side to Kirkpatrick, to Abdul Rahman, Nabil, bounce pass back to Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick drives, spins, turns, blocks shot. Kenny Heron stuffs his stuff, and down the floor he commits the foul. Kirkpatrick went up for the shot. Kenny got all ball, jammed it right back down, and Michael Kirkpatrick is called with a personal foul. Good effort, though. Kirkpatrick had such an outstanding game in the Oak Ridge ball game. That time got his shot blocked, and he will come out of the game and with his third personal foul, and Goins, who's playing with now three fouls, comes into the game. It'll be Oak Ridge basketball up by 21 points, 43-22, and it comes to James Booker. Booker with it down the floor to Adrian Porter. Wildcats with 5.18 to play with the basketball. Here's Kenny Herring to Halston. Halston drives against Diedrich, stripped of the ball, grabs it right back, then Morris lost it, picked up by Nath. Nath falls down and walks. Nobody guarding him. Four Dragons back in the rear court, and the ball just was just inches away from all of them. It went between Morris's legs, skipped past Abdul Rahman, and he just couldn't quite get to it. Good hustle by the Dragons. A little frustration right now on their part. Oak Ridge, Halston scores. No. Missed shot. Morris, a big force inside. The shot doesn't fall. Down the floor come Diedrich died. 4.59 to play. Diedrich kicks it back out. There it goes to Hendricks for three. Good. Three-point shot by Cody Hendricks, six-foot senior. And the three-point shot drops in good. And now play is halted momentarily. Official comes over. I'm not too sure what the situation is, but it was halted momentarily. Oak Ridge will work the ball in. Their lead is 43 to 25, 450 to play third quarter. James Booker looking, yet to get it in. Now does to pinning it for Halston. It's intercepted by Goins. Went for the half-court pass. He works the ball to Hendricks. NBA range three. Good! Two straight three-pointers, and Coach Carringer calls a timeout. Clinton has those long-range gunners, and now their fans are right back into it. Oak Ridge in the lead, 43-28, to 28, and Oak Ridge calls a timeout. Cody Hendricks was pretty off target in the first half, but he drills home two consecutive threes to get his Dragons right back into it. Yeah, David, he's one for three now in the game. I mean, those are two really great shots. That second one, I mean, he, that was easily NBA range with a guy in his face flying past him. Great concentration, two really big shots from Cody Hendricks right there. They cut the lead by six points. Wildcats in the lead, 43-28. to 28. The winner to advance to play in the 
regional tournament. The loser obviously does two. What you want to do is play that fourth seeded team. The champion does. The fourth seeded team is the Heritage Mountaineers as they were defeated tonight by the Bearden Bulldogs. The number two team, the runner up of this game will take on the Bearden Bulldogs Tuesday at nine o'clock. The winner the winner of this game will play Heritage at 4.30 on Tuesday. Oak Ridge basketball. Adams works it into Kenny Herring. The Wildcats have the basketball. Up by 15, but the lead was over 20 just a moment ago for the basketball. Oak Ridge's Kenny Herring fires a pass intending it for Greg Adams. Deflected out nicely by a hustling Diedrich Dye. Wildcats in the lead with the basketball. Lots of time to go in this one. No lead is safe. As Oak Ridge turns it over again. Down the floor it goes to Hendricks. Bounce pass, he drives in all the way through. Works around the baseline. They set it up once again. It was 21, now it's down to 15. Here's Hendricks again, another three, it's good! Three straight threes, and the Dragons, just like that, are right back in the ball game. The Wildcats have turned the ball over, and they do it again. Another turnover. The Dragons are fired up. Wildcats wilting under the pressure here as the fouls called against Adrian Porter. Clinton going berserk across the floor there. Cody Hendricks bombs in three consecutive threes. But more importantly, if you're an Oak Ridge fan, the Wildcats have turned the ball over on three or four consecutive trips. Wildcat lead is 43 to 31. It was 21 just a minute ago. Wildcats playing with Greg Adams, Kenneth Herring, Adrian Porter, Greg Woofter, and Halston Lane. Diedrich Dye dribbles in, pulls up, shoots. Good. Will it count? We'll have to see. I think the whistle was before the shot. We'll have to see. He comes over. Basket's good. Ten-point lead for the Wildcats. They have scored 11 consecutive points. It can be 12 if Diedrich knocks down the free throw. It was a 21-point lead. Now it is only 10. 43-33, the Dragons not giving up their title that easily. 4.05 to play in the third quarter. Diedrich die back to the free throw line. One shot. Good. Nine-point game. Oak Ridge has had trouble with the pressure. Adams has to call a timeout. Clinton doing it once again as the Wildcats could not get the ball in bounds. They had to call a timeout, and it's pandemonium on the Clinton sidelines. Their team is fired up. The Wildcats feeling a little pressure right now. Their 21-point lead is now only nine. A three-possession ball game, mainly because of the great shooting by Hendricks three consecutive threes, a three-point play by Diedrich Dye, multiple turnovers by the Wildcats, and Oak Ridge now just trying to find some kind of regrouping, and the way the Wildcats have done that all season long is to get the ball in the hands of Halston Lane. They really need to, David. You know, the Wildcats, every game that they've played against Clinton that they've lost, the third quarter has determined that game, you know? They came out and they started off the quarter real well and now they're getting sloppy and they're paying for it. Those big turnovers right there and you know the lead has dropped considerably. I think it's now at nine points. Got a nine point lead from what, a 21 point lead? Now that's unheard of. That's just inexcusable by the Wildcats. 4.05 to play in the third quarter. Oak Ridge basketball. Adams will try to work it in again. Greg has yet to do it. Now does into Halston to Greg Adams. To Adrian Porter. The Wildcats will try to bring the ball down the floor, but they have yet to do it. He's going backwards with it. Adrian gets it across the line with a pass to Adams. Adams drives in to Wolfter. Goes in for the shot. Layup. Good. Wildcats stop the scoring streak by the Dragons. And it's back up to an 11-point game. 45-34, 3.45 to play in the third quarter. For the basketball, Diedrich die picked up by James Booker. Adrian Porter's in the ball game. Diedrich's dribble again, goes up, he's fouled. Will shoot free throws. That's what I would do. Diedrich's such a great penetrator. I just let him just penetrate down the middle of the paint and see what he can do with it. It's gonna be a two-shot foul. They'll go to the free throw line as the foul's called against. They whistle it on up on the scoreboard, they say Kenny Herring. And right now, it'll be Diedrich going to the free throw line. Kirkpatrick's about to come into the ball game. Now they change it. It's James Booker. It's his second personal foul. Team foul number four. 336 to play. Third quarter. Lots of ball to be played. Diedrich strokes home the free throw. Good. 10-point Oak Ridge lead. 45 
to 35. Diedrich Dye back to the free throw line. What an exciting ball game here. Lots of interesting occurrences in this game as Diedrich guns. Good. Nine point game. 45-36, Oak Ridge works it in. Here comes to Adrian Porter. Porter brings it across the line, picks up his dribble, backs it up, lost it, turns it over. Layup, Diedrich. Missed it. Booker on the rebound. Click on the Wildcats down the floor. Booker to Halston. Halston against Morris. Takes it to the hole. He scores, and he's fouled. Wildcats get the three-point play. Diedrich missed the layup on the other end of the floor. Credit James Booker. Wildcats got the ball, came right back down the floor, got the bucket from Halston Lane, his 25th point of the night, and Oak Ridge's lead is back to 11. 47 to 36 to score. Halston shoots good. Halston remains perfect at the free throw line. Kirkpatrick to Nafal Duraman. Nafal bring it across the line to die. They have the numbers. Here it goes to Hendricks. Four three pointers. This one's no good. Morris on the rebound. Back up. Hook. Good. Morris scores for the Dragons. Oak Ridge's Adams to work it in. Eventually, and it comes to Porter. Adrian Porter trapped in the rear court, gives it right back to Booker. Booker and the Wildcats back to Porter. 2.58 to play, the Wildcats by 10. Adrian brings it across the line, dribbles right to the left side to Adams. Adams to Halston. Halston drives in against Morris, lays it in. No good. There's Woofter back up. Good. Woofter scores. Halston takes a nasty tumble, but he's okay. Gets up, and now he's holding his back and hip. Here comes Diedrich Dye. The Wildcats by 12. Diedrich drives in, hooks it off the glass. Good. Because Halston was still injured from the previous fall and didn't get down the floor. Adrian Porter. The Wildcats by 10, 228 to play. Here it goes to Adams. He throws the ball away. Adams had broken free down the far left sideline, but the pass was well lobbed over the top of his head, and the Wildcats turned the ball over. 10-point Oak Ridge lead, 50 to 40. 2.25 to play in the third quarter. The two teams have played one game to double overtime. The other was a win by the Dragons, 76 to 70 with a basketball. Diedrich died, 10 point Oak Ridge lead, 2.15 to play third quarter. Diedrich outside the three point line. He's gonna take Booker one on one. Now he backs it up. Now he dribbles in, layup. Too much penetration, good. Nobody helped him out. Easy two and Diedrich scores. Look on the Wildcats down the floor, here's Adrian Porter. Porter with it over to Booker. Booker drives, stops, gives it out to Adams. Free for a 15-footer, no good. There's Woofter on the rebound, back up. He's fouled by Diedrich Dye. Woofter, who played so well yesterday, defending Josh Tummel, got the offensive rebound, and I think Greg will have two free throws here. Woofter in the ball game for the Wildcats has eight points. This will be his first attempt from the free throw line. It's an eight point game, 50 to 42 to score. Greg will have two. Bricks it, hits it too strong. In the back end of the rim. Kenny Herring's about to come in the game. Back to the free throw line will go Mr. Football, Greg Woofter, as selected in the state of Tennessee. The North Carolina signee, back to the free throw line for one more shot. 50 to 42 to score. Woofter looks at the toss. Guns, no good. Diedrich Dye on the rebound. It's an eight-point game. The Dragons can cut it further. Here comes Diedrich down the floor. He'll set the dribble out to Kirkpatrick back to Dye. Minute 43 to play, and Halston's getting ready to come back in. Grabbing his left hip and trying to get going as they work the ball out to Dye. He's kind of loosening up over by the scores table. Diedrich against Kenny, backs it up to Kirkpatrick, inside to Friels, Friels to Hendricks for three, good! Hendricks has been the difference, and they have cut the big Oak Ridge lead to five, it was 21. A minute 19 to play. Here it goes to Kenny Hare, the Wildcats have struggled under this pressure. Here it goes to Adams. Adams drives, turns, spins, stripped to the ball. Wildcats turn it over. A minute eight to play, it's a five point game. Wildcats kick it out to Kirkpatrick, he drives, kicks it back out, there's another three, it's good! The Dragons have come from 21 points down because the Wildcats cannot take care of the ball and because the Dragons can gun the three. It's a two point game, 50 to 48, one of the biggest turnarounds I've ever seen. Timeout is asked for, 55 seconds to play. Wildcats have to do better work with handling the basketball. I don't know how many turnovers they have here in the second half, but it is a tremendous amount. Credit the Clinton defense. They've just stripped the ball away. The pressure has been 
denying the ball inbounds, and the Dragons have done just an outstanding job, primarily with the three-point shooting of Cody Hendricks. Hendricks has hit four three-pointers. He has 12 points total, four of six from three-point range. Every single ball game that these two teams have played this year, somebody has stepped up for the Dragons. Last time, it was Michael Kirkpatrick. They've had others step up in the past. Tonight, it's Hendricks off the bench because Jermaine Shepard unable to go. Oak Ridge with the basketball, up by only two. They were up by 21 earlier. Adams to work the ball in with 55 seconds to play. In it comes to Adrian Porter. Wildcats down the floor. Adrian works the ball over to Kenny Herring. Kenny waits, now brings it across. 49 seconds to play, two-point Oak Ridge lead. Over it goes to Adams in the corner. Nabil playing excellent defense on Halston Lane. Here it goes to Herring along the baseline. Got it by Kirkpatrick. He blows him away, gets a layup out of it. He's fouled. That time, a great little move by Kenny Herring along the baseline. 37 seconds to play. The Wildcats will have two free throws. It'll be Kenny going to the line. The personal foul is called, I believe, uh, against Matt Friels. That'll be his second. Kenny has two shots. Wildcats by two. And holding. Kenny misses the shot. Wildcats senior back to the line. Wildcats feeling the pressure by the defending back-to-back -back District 3 champion Clinton Dragons. Kenny Herring back to the free throw line. 50 to 48 the score. 37 seconds to play. The girls won tonight easily over Central to win their district championship. Back to the free throw line one more time. Kenneth Herring, guns, bang. Three point lead for Oak Ridge. 37 seconds to play, they can tie it with a three. Here comes Diedrich Dye across the midcourt line. Wildcats on defense with 30 seconds to play. Continuing to dribble, Wildcats up by three. 25 seconds to play in the third quarter. This is the District 3 championship game. Diedrich penetrates in, pulls up, kicks it back out. Out it goes to Hendricks to Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick, right side to Friels. Friels a three to tie it, no good. On the rebound, Wolfter. Wolfter with 10. Wolfter to Kenneth Herring in the rear court. Brings it across with six to Porter. Porter at the buzzer. It is up, it is no good. Wolfter back up at the buzzer, good. No, they're gonna say it's no good. I distinctly heard the buzzer sound. They wiped the basket off as the third quarter comes to a close. Our score after three quarters of basketball here at the Campbell County High School gym. It's Oak Ridge, 51, Clinton 48, back in 60 seconds. We are back here at the Campbell County High School gym. The fourth and final quarter is underway. Oak Ridge with a basketball and a slim three-point lead. Kenneth Herring, top of the key, works it over to Adrian Porter, stripped of the ball. Back in the rear court it goes. Porter picks it up and a whistle blows. It'll be Oak Ridge basketball. I have no idea what happened. It happened in the far left corner and it'll be Oak Ridge's basketball. It's 7.46 to play. It happened and out of my view, I could not see it at all. Uh, Oak Ridge, I just know, has the basketball. Wildcats to work it in. Here it comes to Kenneth Herring. Kenny in the rear court. 51-48, Oak Ridge by three. 7.42 to play. Herring throws the ball to Diedrich Dye, who throws the ball to the right side for Diedrich for the shot good. One point game. Turnovers after turnover for the Wildcats. It's a one point lead. 51-50 the score. A 30 point third quarter for the Clinton Dragons. Incredible. Here comes Oak Ridge as Adrian Porter. He's fouled in the rear court. Foul this time is whistled against Nath Abdulrahman. Team foul number five called against Clinton. Oak Ridge will get the basketball. To work the ball in will be Kenneth Herring. Kenny looks, works it into Greg Wolfter, who almost got an over and back call. Works the ball back to the right side to Adams to Halston Lane. Halston, top of the key, goes inside of Wolfter, back to Adams. Three pointer on its way. No good. On the rebound, it's knocked out of bounds by Clinton. The Oak Ridge basketball. Wildcats got the three from Greg Adams from the outside. He just couldn't get it to drop. Kenny to work the ball in, a one point Oak Ridge lead. In it comes to Adrian Porter. Porter pulls up, takes a 10 footer. It's no good. On the rebound, Oak Ridge had it. Herring back up with it. It's no good. Tipped and taken by Halston. Halston double team, can't shoot now, does a 10 footer. It's good. Pretty shot. Halston Lane. Wildcat lead is three once again. 53 
650 to score, 650 to play in a basketball game. Down the floor will come Diedrich Dye, a three-point lead. Let's see if he guns up a three. Diedrich's just going to take his man and gun the three for the tie. Tie game. Oak Ridge basketball, 53-53 to score. Here's Adrian Porter to Herring. Herring down the floor to Woofter. Woofter against Morris for the layup. He missed it. On the rebound, Oak Ridge. Adams back up. They're going to call a charge against Adams. 6.24 to play in the basketball game. And Oak Ridge turns the ball back over. 15 foul called against the Dragons. What a game. 53-53 the score. 6.24 to play. The Wildcats had a 20-plus point lead in the second half. Clinton can take the lead now with 6.24 to play in a basketball game. Oak Ridge playing with Kenneth Herring, Adrian Porter, James Booker, Halston Lane, and Greg Wolfster. Wildcats watching Diedrich die, bring the ball down the floor. Jay picked up now by James Booker. Booker works him hard, continues to dribble, does Diedrich die right in front of the Clinton bench. Now he's picked up by Porter, unable to penetrate, backs it up, looking at the shot, thought about it, won't take it. Works the ball left side to Friels. Friels looking inside to Morris. Swings the ball right side to Hendricks. Hendricks backs it up in the midcourt circle. 5.57 to play in the game and a tie game. 53-53 to score. Matt Friels guarded by Halston Lane. Over it goes to Goins. Goins kicks it out to Hendricks. Hendricks in the left corner can't shoot. Backs it up to Friels. Friels backs it up. Bounce pass on the left side to Goins. Goins penetrates in. Works the ball for a shot by Hendricks. Good and they lead. Dragons up by two. Oak Ridge basketball. 55-53 the score, Kenny Herring in the rear court. Kenny will bring the ball down the floor, give it off to Porter. Adrian Porter down the floor to Booker. Booker stops, 15-footer, it's way off, no good. Knocked out of bounds by, they're gonna say, Clinton. It'll be Oak Ridge basketball underneath the goal. Not too sure about it. It'll be Oak Ridge basketball down by two, 55-53. Kenny Herring to work the ball in, it goes to Porter. Adrian Porter looking inside to Halston, can't get the ball to him. There's Woofter, there's Halston. He's stripped of the ball. Picked up by Kenny Herring, the Wildcats set it up again. Over it goes to Porter, they need this three. He missed it. On the rebound, Diedrich die, and then a whistle blows, and a foul called, I think, against Halston Lane. The Wildcats commit their 16 foul. Halston fouls. Diedrich, I do believe, to get to the ball, and Clinton can further their lead. Right now, they're up by two, 55 to 53, trying to win for the 12th consecutive time over Oak Ridge. Five minutes to play in the ball game. Here comes Diedrich Dye down the floor, the man-to-man -man defense being applied by the Wildcats. Diedrich guarded by James Booker. He gives him about five feet, thought about launching one, will not. Gives it over to Friels, away from the ball. Morris is fouled by Greg Wolfter. 17 foul, I do believe. It's one in the bonus. It is one in the bonus as Woofter picks up his third personal foul and Tory Morris, averaging eight points per ball game, will go to the free throw line. Morris, in the ball game, has four points. And I believe this will be his first attempts from the free throw line. His team up by two. He guns. He scores. Three-point lead for the Dragons. 56-53, back to the free throw line he goes. 4.49 to play in the game, Torrey Morris to try to give his team a four point lead after Oak Ridge led by 21. One of the biggest deficits I've ever seen erased. Toss, good, Morris knocks it down. What a second half the Dragons have had. Booker works it in, throws the ball into Adrian Porter. Porter in the rear court, the Wildcats down 57-53. These two teams have played to a double overtime game this year as Kenny works the ball inside off the left side. It goes to Booker inside to Halston. Halston drives to Woofter for the dunk. Two-point shot, two-point game. Red Woofter scores. Down the floor will come the Dragons once again. 57 to 55 to score. Diedrich Dye guarded by James Booker. Man-to-man -man being applied. He's going to take him to the top of the circle. Now penetrate in. Give it up for a shot, no good. Morris on the rebound, no. Stripped to the ball by Dye, right back by Goins. Goins backs it up and then a Wilson blows and Woofter commits another foul. Woofter commits his fourth personal foul. Wildcats, we'll see Clinton shoot free throws again. 4-12 to play, what a turnaround. 
It was a 20-plus point lead for the Wildcats. Clinton now leads by two. They did it with pressure defense, outstanding shooting, and terrible ball handling by the Wildcats. Free throw is good. Clinton now taking advantage of the Wildcats' foul troubles here in the second half. As that was indeed the fourth foul caught against Greg Woofter. Coach Carringer, Coach Norris, electing to keep him in the ball game. 58-55, second toss. No good. Halston on the rebound to Kenny Herring. The Wildcats will bring the ball down the floor. Kenny waits. He's guarded by Goins. He'll bring the ball to the midcourt line. Dribble across to the top. Penetrate right to Woofter. He drives in. Strip to the ball. Another foul is going to be called against Clinton. And that'll be their 17th foul. The Wildcats did a good job, for the most part, hitting their free throws in the first half. Let's see what they can do in the second. Halston Lane will go to the free throw line. 58-55, Clinton by three. Woofter guns, good. Two-point dragon lead. Four minutes to play in the basketball game. The winner is the District 3 champions. Clinton trying to go for the three-peat. Woofter, second toss, good. Rattled in, but it dropped in for him, and Greg now has 12 points, and Oak Ridge trails by one. 58 to 57 the score, and down the floor will come the Clinton Dragons. Slowly walking it to the midcourt line is Diedrich Dye. They'll take as much time as they possibly can because they have the lead. Only 3.54 to play in the game. What a finish I can anticipate here at the championship ball game. Over it goes to Nafal Duraman, back to Friels. Friels looks inside to Morris, can't get the ball to him, it goes to Dye. Diedrich Dye now penetrates, guns up the three. It's going to be short. In fact, it's an air ball. It'll be Oak Ridge's basketball. They're going to say it's deflected. They're going to say it's deflected. And I don't believe that's a good call. I don't think there was any contact, but I guess she saw it better than I did. 3.36 to play, 58 to 57. Hendricks throws the ball in, it comes to Diedrich Dye. Back across the line he goes, and they set up their offense. Dragons by one, 58 to 57, three and a half minutes to play. Wildcats now go to a zone, it appears, no, as they work the ball to Alderaman. Alderaman dribbles left, stops, he's gonna kick it right back, now he's gonna penetrate right, give it off to Hendricks. Hendricks swings the ball back out to die. Clinton by one, 315 to play. Back it goes to Alderaman, to Hendricks, three-pointer, good! What a shooter. He has been the difference in the second half, and Clinton leads by four. Here comes Adrian Porter, down the floor for the Wildcats. Adrian will bring it across the line, dribble to the midcourt line, give it off to Kenny. If he can save it, he does, and throws the ball up on a deflection into the crowd. Given right back from the crowd. It'll be Clinton by four. Oak Ridge with a basketball. Here comes to Halston, layup, good. Cuts the lead back down to two. 59 to 61 to score. 2.49 to play in this District 3 championship ball game from the Campbell County High School gym. Away from the ball this time, a foul is going to be called against Clinton. I think it goes against Creels. It's going to be a personal foul against the Dragons. And evidently, Coach Lockhart, both of them saw it, and they're scolding Mr. Freels as we speak. And the man fouled was Halston Lane. And Halston will have the one in the bonus with a chance to tie the game. 61-59 to score, 2.43 to play, and Halston will go to the free throw line. Halston last night had 40. He has 25 tonight. He'll have one of the bonus. The shot is good. He has 30. 31 tonight as he knocks down yet another shot. Halston with 31 points, gunning for 32. He knocks it down. Halston has been unbelievable at the line, and we have a tie ball game. We had a double overtime game the first time these two teams played. 61-61 to score, 2.35 to play in the basketball game. With the basketball, Diedrich Dye. Over it goes to Abdul Rahman, Nate. He works the dribble right, fires over to Hendricks to Dye. Diedrich guarded by Booker. He dribbles in. He penetrates, kicks it out to Friels. It's on target. He missed it, though. Morris, no, it's Woofter on the rebound to Lane. Oak Ridge with the basketball. I thought Morris was going to rip it away. Here comes Adrian Porter. Wildcats with the basketball, tied at 61. Adrian Porter dribbling to the right. The five-second count is on. He throws the ball back to Booker on a deflection from Woofter. Back it goes with two minutes to Adams. Halston, layup. Good. Oak Ridge by two. Halston scores. Wildcats 63, Clinton 61. A minute 55 to play in the basketball game, and Halston has 34 points. Diedrich dies, stripped to the ball. Here's James Booker. He battles. He dives. It goes out of bounds. It'll be Clinton basketball. 
Booker slapped the ball away from Diedrich, and then a timeout is asked for by Mr. Don Lockhart, head coach of the Clinton Dragons, run AM 1290, WATO, and Tennessee Cablevision Channel 12. We have one minute, 46 seconds to play, and obviously you can tell my voice is about gone. What an outstanding game again by Halston Lane. Halston with 34 points, 34 of the Wildcats, 63. Oak Ridge leads 63 to 61. They have led by as many as 20 plus in the ball game, but that's before Cody Hendricks reined in the three ball from the outside to get the Dragons back in because of their outstanding defense as well. Oak Ridge with the two-point lead, but the Dragons have the basketball. What a great ball game. The winner is the District 3 champion. They'll play at 4.30 on Tuesday against Heritage. The loser plays Bearden at 9 o'clock on Tuesday. Dragon basketball to work the ball in will be Michael Kirkpatrick. Then it comes to Diedrich Dye, and we're underway once again. Man-to-man -man being applied by the Wildcats. Diedrich gets a screen. Booker falls down, but Booker recovers. He dribbles to the baseline, drives all the way through, kicks it out to Hendricks. Another three. This one is off the mark. Halston Lane on the rebound. Wildcats with the basketball in the lead. Halston dribbles to Wolfter. He turns. He spins. His shot is blocked. Gets his own rebound. He goes back up. He scores in Morris's face. A minute 16 to play. 65-61, Diedrich Dye drive. Blocked by Worcester. Oak Ridge with the basketball and a four-point lead. Big Greg Worcester smacks it away. Here comes Kenny Herring down the floor. The Wildcats with the lead. Under a minute to play in the basketball game. 65-61. Coach Chris Lockhart says foul James Booker, and that's what they do. Matt Friels fouls the Wildcat. And he'll send him to the free throw line. And it'll be James Booker at the charity stripe. Big, big play by Greg Woofter in this ball game. Greg Woofter's playing huge, David. He has 14 points in the game. You know, this is one of his best games of the season. He's getting rebounds. He's fighting on the boards. He's boxing the big man out. And that's keeping him off the boards, obviously, and letting Halston and the other Wildcats pull down those big boards and letting us get down here and score. 55 seconds to play. One of these teams might be the third consecutive District 3 champion. The other, if they win, would end an 11-game losing streak to their arch rivals from the Cross County, the Clinton Dragons. But we saw this before. The first time the two teams played, both teams had leads, big leads. And the game both gave them up. They went to double overtime, and it was decided by the Clinton Dragons. The second time at Oak Ridge, Clinton outplayed the Wildcats and won the game easily. Not easily, but it was a hard-fought game. But I thought Clinton outplayed Oak Ridge that night. Tonight, Clinton a little shorthanded without Jermaine Shepard because of the injury he sustained. But the Wildcats have come up strong against the Dragons. Clinton trails by four. Oak Ridge's James Booker will try to make it a two-possession game. He has the one in the bonus. James guns. Bang! He drops it through. James Booker has given Oak Ridge a five-point lead. Five-point lead. 66 to 61. James. Good. 67, 61. Here come the Dragons down the floor and away from the ball. James Booker commits a foul as he dove and actually went between the legs of Diedrich Dye. A humorous looking foul. Couldn't have happened at a worse time. A little comic relief for a tense, tight situation. I tell you what, David, I'm not real sure why they called that foul. I mean, I guess he made contact with him. You're right, though. It couldn't have come at a worse time. They need the clock to run down. You know, this is stopping the clock. If he hits both of these, it cuts it to four instead of six, and they don't have to go for the three anymore, you know? But 53 seconds is a lifetime. The Wildcats really have to focus here and make sure they're getting quality possessions on every single time down the floor. Diedrich Dye is going to be shooting free throws. It is the ninth team foul. It's still one and a bonus. Diedrich probably will hit two. 
He always does. He leads the team in scoring. His team is down six to Oak Ridge, under a minute to play in this District 3 championship ball game. One in the bonus. Diedrich Dye, the senior, the outstanding senior, misses it. Halston Lane has the board. The Wildcats win it down the floor. Kenny with 49 to Halston. Halston with 45. Halston drives, stops, he's fouled. The Wildcats with a chance to shoot more free throws. Five personal fouls. Somebody is fouled out of the ball game. The foul is called against Matt Friels. Matt Friels will take his seat next to coach Don Lockhart on the Oak Ridge and the Clinton bench. And Oak Ridge's Halston Lane will go to the free throw line. Some of the fans, for whatever reason, are leaving this gym. They don't know this series. We've seen double overtime. They're beginning to head on out of the gym as Halston Lane goes to the free throw line. Halston's shooting great from the line tonight. We just hope he can keep this going right here. He'll go to the free throw line. Halston has 34 points in the game, 74 points in two games at this District 3 basketball tournament. To the free throw line will go the junior. Strokes it, missed it. Double bonus, that's his first miss after so many consecutive free throws. 44 seconds to play in the game. Oak Ridge by six, 67 to 61. He missed them both. Halston, and they throw the ball away. Clinton throws it away. Wildcats get it side court. Halston missed the two, but the Dragons can't capitalize. They're going to commit a foul right off. It'll be Nate coming into the ball game for the Dragons. 41 seconds to play in this basketball game. Goins is out. Nabil is coming into the ball game. Uh, Hendricks is out. Boy, love to have his three points shooting there if I was a Dragon fan. 41 seconds to play Oak Ridge basketball. Here it comes into Adrian Porter. Adrian has been fouled in the rear court by Nate Abdul Rahman. Wildcat down to 39 seconds to play. And they will be the District 3 champs. And they will end an 11-game losing streak to the Clinton Dragons. But Clinton, we saw them come back from 20-plus in such a short period of time. You got to tick it down to one before this game is over. Porter shoots. He missed it. Wildcats. Fiddling a little heat right now as the free throws. Consecutive knee now missed by the Wildcats. That's three straight they've missed. Still a six-point game. Adrian trying to make it a three-possession game. He does not. He missed it. Wildcats see Morris pull down the board. Morris to Diedrich Dye. 35 seconds to play. 67-61. Diedrich, a three-pointer. It's on its way. It's a brick. No good. Kirkpatrick with 28 seconds to play. Diedrich drives in. Shot. Good. 20. Four seconds to play. It is a four-point game. The Wildcats had four opportunities at the free throw line to put it away. They couldn't do it. That's the pressure of such a big ball game like this. High school kids under enormous pressure in front of an enormous crowd with it to their great stakes at hand. 67 to 63 the score. 24 seconds to play. 67, 63 the score. And it'll be, once again, free throws missed consecutively. Oak Ridge playing with James Booker, Kenneth Herring, Greg Woofter, Halston Lane, Adrian Porter. The Dragons have the basketball, playing with Morris, Guy, along with Goins, Nabil Abdurrahman, and Nath Abdurrahman. 67-63, it's Oak Ridge basketball. Wildcats working into Woofter. Should be, as the Wildcats have the basketball coming down the floor. 22 seconds to play. Did I miss something? I thought, I, oh yeah, they scored the two. I'm sorry, I'm totally out of the ball game. Oak Ridge will shoot free throws, up by four. 22 seconds to play. That was a great play, that plays Diamond. Uh, switch in bounders and get it to the guy who was originally gonna throw it in. It worked pretty well right there. Play is halted by the official. 22 seconds to play, 67 to 63 the score. We're in the fourth and final quarter. The final seconds ticking down. The Wildcats right now in a two-possession ball game. They've got Nabil Abdurrahman and Tori Morris ready to rebound. Wolf their guns. Good. A big free throw right there for the big guy. Greg Wolfter has his 15th point. 
Oak Ridge's lead is 522 seconds to play in the game. Wildcats that close to a district championship. Free throw is missed. On the rebound, Morris, 19 seconds to play. Here's Diedrich Dye down the floor. Diedrich gives it up to Kirkpatrick. He pulls up, guns a three, no good. Halston on the rebound, 10 seconds to play. 11 seconds officially on the clock. The Wildcats will shoot two more, and the 11 game losing streak to the Clinton Dragons is 11 seconds away from its conclusion as the Wildcats will step to the free throw line with Halston Lane with two shots in a five point game with 11 seconds to play. The Lady Wildcats have won the girls championship. The guys are 11 seconds away from the boys championship. Free throw is good. Halston Lane, 35 points in the game. 35 and holding as he missed the free throw. Down the floor will come Clinton. Eight seconds. In a ghost in the bill. Five, four. There's three, actually four seconds to play. They score the bucket. 69, 65. The Wildcats are four seconds away from the District 3 championship here at Campbell County. But they did it really primarily having to play with a little guts a little guts for the wildcats because of the fact that they had a big lead jermaine got hurt came back in they got fired up i think because of that and cody hendricks bombed away they cut a 20 plus deficit down to actually taking a lead and the wildcats came storming back primarily with big plays by halston lane and greg woofter we'd like to say hello to harry keen listening to the broadcast tonight in Oak Ridge, we, we're sorry you couldn't make it as Oak Ridge will work it in. Then it comes to Adrian Porter with three seconds. Three seconds away from the end of a losing streak, which is dated back to December the 8th, 1995. Oak Ridge will be shooting free throws, and they'll come home with the District 3 championship, and they'll play Heritage at 4.30. Tuesday at the Halls High School Gym, and the Clinton Dragons will play Bearden at 9 o'clock at the Halls High School Gym. Adrian Porter has just stuck a strong, deep spike into the coffin of the Dragons as he knocks down the free throw, making it a five-point game. 70 to 65. Three seconds to play from a district championship and a win over the Clinton Dragons. The sophomore shoots and he scores 71 65 3 2 1 Oak Ridge has defeated the Clinton Dragons here at Campbell County High School on AM 1290 WATO and Tennessee Cablevision Channel 12 the Wildcats beat Clinton ending the 11 game losing streak which began December the 8th 1995 1,167 days ago. And the Wildcats win it, and they win the championship. We hope Jermaine Shepard will be able to play in the regional tournament because I guess Oak Ridge will play Clinton again, I would say, for a regional championship, just like they did last year. As we're about to have the selection of the all-tournament team. Demarcus Dixon has been selected. He is from Central High School. He's on the all-tournament team. So the girls and the boys at Oak Ridge High School have won the championship tonight. From Carnes, Jim Hansen has been selected all-tournament. They're trying to trying to get everything settled. Clinton just went, or Campbell County just went ahead and started the ceremony. From Halls High School, Josh Tummel had a great couple of ball games. He's here. His team uh, beat Campbell County tonight in the consolation ball game. He sets his all tournament for Clinton. Diedrich Dye selected to the all tournament team. Outstanding player. Had a good ball game tonight. Finished with 21 points. Also from Campbell County High School, Justin Heath had a great couple of ball games as well. Really played some physical basketball. He's here still. Justin Heath accepts his all-tournament plaque from 
Oak Ridge High School, Adrian Porter on the all-tournament team. He's out to accept his plaque. Wildcats have defeated Clinton tonight. And Kyle Yates, you didn't. Kyle Yates also has been selected to the all-tournament team. Campbell County also. Nick Goins selected to the all-tournament team. I'm guessing that Halston Lane is going to be your most valuable player. I hope somebody like Greg Wolfter is on the team because he definitely deserves it. Cody Hendricks, all-tournament. What a great come-from-behind effort by that young man as he was able to just stroke home three after three to get his team right back in the contention. From Oak Ridge High School, Greg Wolfter. Greg Wolfter selected to the all-tournament team. And the big guy goes out to accept his plaque. The district championship is wrapped in cardinal and gray, girls and boys. The most valuable player of this tournament is Halston Lane. Halston Lane, 40 points last night. Halston Lane, 35 points tonight. He is the most valuable player of the District 3 basketball tournament, and Oak Ridge has won the championship tonight. The runner-up trophy is given to a gutsy Clinton Dragons team. They were going for the three-peat tonight, and they might have done it. Had they been at full strength, Wildcats probably have something to say about that, but um, they accept their runner-up plaque, and now the championship plaque is about to be given to the Oak Ridge Wildcats. The streak has come to an end here tonight at Campbell County High School. 1,167 days after it began, the Wildcats are the District 3 champions, and we'll have stats, we'll have Coach Carringer, and we'll talk about it all coming up following this three-minute timeout. Of course, they'll say, they'll say it would have been different if Jermaine had been playing. 